just just quickly just you, you sort of mentioned some of the the numbers there about what you would expect prior to the pandemic in terms of that one of the questions that's come in and and i'll be interested in in and derek um your 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 kind of feeling on this is that is that the patterns that we're starting to see in terms of of how many people are working from home and not are obviously been exacerbated by the the pandemic but what were they like before i mean what as a as a kind of rough guide what sort of percentage of people would you say typically did uh, one of the metrics i i've used is is work from home at least once a week so you know it might be one day it might be an afternoon but on a weekly basis they would do some work from home how how you know as a rough guide would you say how many people did did that prior to the pandemic so um in our London office and in fact, in our US offices, um, Friday uh, was always a, a for, more, for many people uh, was, was the quietest uh, day. So if you wanted to actually have some peace and quiet in the office, come on a Friday. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so, and then uh, in our offices in Asia Pac was slightly different because culturally, um, you know, things kind of work differently. So people were pretty much Monday to Friday. Uh, but um, I think there was, a, there was an evolution going on uh, anyway, so there was a there was a slow kind of evolution whereby um, you know we were calling it different things. So we our, our 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 philosophy was agile working in the London office. So Chris, I'm sure when you came to our office a few years ago, yeah. um, you saw that you know open plan, and then you know people choose where they sit, and, you know depending on the task they're doing. Um, if they want to do some focused working, they could work from home. That we had that flexibility built in. Um, but then you know different people were calling you know agile working you know, it meant different things flexible working meant, meant different things i think what the what the uh the pandemic has actually done for us is it's brought in this new word called hybrid which is actually what we were doing anyway you know what i mean so we were already working in, in a hybrid way it's just that hybrid has now become um kind of a lot more it's kind of formalized um, yeah. how we were working so the, the missing word is now is hybrid that's that's the word well, we're missing uh, five years ago actually maybe not formalized it's popularized it hasn't it popularized it, it, it yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. You know, it's like you were saying joe bloggs is saying I'd, I'd like to work in a hybrid way i mean i'm not a massive fan of the word to be honest from a like almost like a strict academic point of view i'm, I'm sitting there thinking oh i'm not sure it's quite as accurate as it is but um but i, I think you're right is at least it started a conversation patrick how did it compare because you know you guys got a lot of press for some of the work you're doing as well you know in terms of the decisions you made but how does it compare in terms of the how much of a shift was it for your organization to to work in you know as Derek says in in a, a agile way that some organizations did anyway before the pandemic was it a big shift <laughs> it was enormous um right. so so it was you know similar to what Derek was saying on a Friday it was a good day to go in if you wanted to get uh, um, uh, lots of space but uh, particularly getting a car parking space but the um the the numbers in nationwide were probably in single figure percentages of people who formerly worked from home it was it was it was very small um and now it's it's enormous i mean i don't i don't have the number to hand but it's yeah yeah you know, if you if you if you take take nationwide house which i just mentioned 4200 there's about six seven hundred people in there of a day um the rest of them are all working from home so it's right. a massive, massive, massive change, massive 24 by 7 focus from, from IT, from risk people, from compliance people, from governance people, just making sure the environment was right for people to very rapidly